Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements as well as Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements looking at some of the new features in version 2020. Now, in the latest version of Premiere Elements, Adobe has put a lot of time and effort into creating guided edits. In fact, most of the new features in version 2020 are actually just guided edits. The library of guided edits can be accessed by clicking on the tab here in the top center of the program. And here you can see under various categories are approximately 23 guided edits. A couple of the newer ones include fill frame. And that's a guided edit for showing you how to take a photo or a video that was shot upright, like when you hold your phone upright, and fill the frame with it so that you don't have black bars on either side. And under Fund Edits, we explore this in another one of the tutorials, Animated Sky, step-by-step -step showing you how to replace the sky in a photo with an animation. We want to work with Create Time-Lapse Video, another one of the new ones. And as with all guided edits, the program gives you an introduction and then walks you step-by-step -step through the whole process. So to create a time lapse, we click Next, and it says go to Project Assets and create a new folder. So again, it's highlighting these areas and pretty much giving us only the options that are needed to create this particular project. So we open up by double clicking on the folder, select Add Media, Files and Folders, and I have a series of shots. There are like 450 of them here provided by my good friend Sid Finch from moviepix.com. These are photos, each one shot just a few seconds apart of a sunrise, an early morning sunrise in Northern California. So we're going to select the whole set here by clicking on the first one, holding down the shift key. Actually, no, we're only gonna select about half of them here. But I've tried it with the whole set and the program is capable of working with 450, even more still photos. So we'll click open and they're added to our project. Once they're added, the guided edit directs us to make sure that they're in the right order by going up here to panel options, sort by creation date. Then once they're in the correct order, drag them down here to video track one. Once they're added, the guided edit directs us to right click on them and under the clip submenu, select time stretch. Now what we're doing is setting the duration for the individual photos. We want each photo to be just about a frame or so long. So it directs us to change duration for each one of these clips or each one of these photos to 005. That is, as you can see, just five frames long, each one of these photos. Click OK. And we can click play to preview it. There is the motion of our clouds and the rising sun. Let's pause that and click Next. The program is going to also direct us to add titles and music to our time lapse. So we can do that. Go over here to the Titles menu, select a default title, drag it here onto Video Track 2, stretch it out so it's the same length as our movie. Click Next, customize the title. We'll call this Sunrise. We'll click Next, and we can customize this. I'm just going to colorize it so we can see it better by using the color picker here. Click OK. We open the color picker, of course, by selecting the text and clicking on that little palette in the Title Adjustments panel. Click Next. To add music, it wants us to open up the Scores menu. In our scores library, select Aura. We'll drag that down here to Audio 1. The program will generate our score, our music. And then in the option panel, we can select the option to fit entire video. In other words, the music track will be the same length as our time lapse. Click Done. Now we'll render the timeline as directed, and that just creates a clean, high quality preview of our time lapse. And once the render is done, we get our green check mark, which means we're done. We'll close that and then we'll click play and we can watch and listen to our movie.
And there we go. Guided edits are a great way to learn how to do some simple tasks as well as to create some special effects. You may outgrow them rather quickly, but it is kind of cool to have this library of helps in case you need it. And if you want to know everything about the program and maybe never need guided edits, you'll want to check out our books, the moviepix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. Those are available at Amazon.com or drop by our website. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote those books and I hope to see you there.